Welcome back to Web Technology Laboratory. Today we will study the second part of experiment number 8 about matrix operations using PHP. Experiment number 8 uh, has two parts. One part that is implementing simple calculator we, I have explained already in part 1 of experiment number 8. And the remaining three parts, these are the matrix operations of transpose, multiplication and matrix addition. This will be explained in this part which is part 2 of experiment number 8. Before explaining a matrix operations, let us study some basics of PHP which we require to implement matrix operation using PHP in this program. So we will study today uh, how to display variable values using echo statement, uh, how to make array declarations, how to access array elements using a given index and how to uh, use two dimensional array using single array, uh, single dimensional array and also for loop all these concepts we will study in PHP so that we can implement matrix operations in PHP. So let us start uh, with displaying variable using echo. So let us study uh, how to display a variable value in echo statement in PHP. So here left side my uh, PHP editor is there and on the right side that is the output. Um, we will start a PHP code, we will enclose a PHP code within uh, here, within this tag, okay. So PHP should be enclosed within this tag. Uh, now we will declare a variable, for example $a and I'll, it is a string, I will mention string is Canara. Now how to display this variable? So Initially let us display using uh, a string using echo. I am displaying high using echo statement, echo high. And I will execute this, you can see on the right side the output high. Now I want to display high and dollar $a variable that is canara, high canara. So I have to use string concatenation, okay output is always displayed as a string. So string concatenation operator is dot. So high that is a string within double quote dot variable name dollar $a. So now you can see on the right side here, yeah, hi canara here. But there is no space between hi and canara. So after hi, I will give space manually here and execute this. Now you can see the hi and canara separately. Suppose if there is a one more variable, for example, uh, variable b, okay. So <coughs> I will mention it is a college. I want to display one more variable then again dot dollar $b. So dot must be there as a string concatenation operator. So now you can see hi space canara college. So there is no space again but if I give a space here dot $b it won't work because space is also a character. So I have to use one more dot between two dots within double quote I have to give a space. So this is output formatting is very important. So now you can see hi Canada College. So this is how we use uh, echo statement to display the variable values as a string. So we can display uh, other variable also like uh, okay I will declare this as a number 1, 2, 3 and dollar $b as 4, 5, 6 integer variables. So you can see we can display it also just like that hi 1, 2, 3 space 4, 5, 6. So this is how we use echo statement to display a variable value. Now where it is used in matrix operation is we have to display matrix matrices or result after addition transpose. So we have to display various matrix elements. So we use this echo statement and variables. So let us see um, how to declare arrays now. So let me start explaining single dimension array. First we will discuss how to declare an array. So let me write an array here. Um, for me, okay, this is the array I am just talking about, okay, with four indices. So we know how exactly array works. So, okay, 0, 1, 2 and 3, these are the four indices and I will store element like 10, okay, 20 and 30 and finally 40. So how to do this using a PHP? 
So unlike your any other uh, programming languages, uh, <coughs> here in PHP there is a function for um, array. So let us see that. So my array name is I'll declare as a. Okay, dollar a equal to. So how to declare uh, array? So using array function. So this is array function which returns an array, and you have to submit various values. So that is ten, twenty. 30 and 40 so now dollar a is an array with elements 10 20 30 40 okay so 10 is at index 0 20 is at index 1 30 is at index 2 and 40 is at index 3 so let us uh, display this array we know how to display a variable that is dollar a right echo dollar a so if we display it we can see um okay one minute dollar a of 0 yeah first in the first elements i am displaying dollar a of 0 we can see 10 right on the output window so if i give 3 i can see fourth element that is 40 yeah that is 40 so how to display whole array to display whole array we have to go for for loop which will i explain later so this is how we dis display a single dimension array so this is how we declare single dimension array before displaying all the elements of the array how to display all the elements array we will study how to count uh, length of the array so here we can see that this length is 4 because dollar a is an array with four elements so its length is 4 so there is a function called um, i will declare as b dollar b equal to function called count uh, count is a function used to uh, find out the length of the array or number of elements present in the array so parameter we have to pass is the array name and it returns number of elements present in that array so now dollar array dollar a has uh, four elements so count function of dollar a returns four that is nothing but in dollar b so i will display count here echo dollar b right now echo dollar b yeah here so it gives a four value four we can see here yes so now uh, here we will increase one more element i'll make it 50 now you can see output as 5 because count returns number of element present in the array so this is how we display uh, we use array and count function okay to process the arrays in php now how to uh, we know how to get the particular how to access a particular element in the array that is using index for example dollar a of 3 okay dollar a of 4 So dollar a of 4 gives the element present in array index 4. That is value is 50. That element is 50. But how to display all the elements of the array? For that we have to go for for loop. See for loop in PHP is as same as for loop in C program any or any other um, basic programming languages. So for is the keyword, right? And okay. So within flower bucket we have to mention. echo statement or statement to access array element so there should be a um, variable right so i'll declare it as dollar i dollar i equal to 0 and dollar i less than dollar b what is dollar b dollar b you can see here it is a count or number of elements present in the array so dollar i 0 to number of present right number of elements present one less than that that is the indices so dollar b and dollar i plus plus so i will display dollar a of i so now you can see 10 to 50 all elements will displayed because these are present uh, okay sorry i it's i yeah dollar i all the variables are prefixed with dollar here yeah you can see here 10 to 50 all the elements are getting displayed on the output but there is no space so space we have to handle manually so that's why after uh, displaying one echo statement i will concatenate within double quote a space i'm concatenating a space so every time for array element is displayed one space will be given so 10 20 30 40 you can also use a break statement here right so that it will be displayed vertically after every array element a new line character will be inserted see here this is how 20 20 30 this is very important using break statement and a single space 
to display matrix. We can see every matrix row, we have to display element in every row with a space and every row has to be displayed one after other, one below, right, below each other. So, that's why there, is a, there should be a break. So, this is how we display, we declare a single dimension array, we count how many variables are, the, uh, elements are there in the array and this is how to display all the elements and this is how to uh, using access using indices, element accessing using indices. So, now let us see how a two dimensional array can be declared. So, now here uh, let me take a okay, pen here, okay. <coughs> yeah. Okay, fine. Now, so uh, this is a two dimensional array like a matrix. Okay. So, these are there are three rows here you can see and I will make four columns fine. Yeah. So, this is row 1, this is row 2 and this is row 3. Okay. So, here you can see column 1, column 2, column 3 and column 4. Now, you can see see every row here is single dimensional array. I am I am going for two dimensional array that is the matrix here, but in two dimensional array there are multiple rows and every row here is a here see this is a one dimension array right. This one more row is one dimension array. So, every row here is one dimension array. So, how we declare two dimension array? We PHP considers a multi dimension array as array of array array of arrays is called as multi two dimensional array. So, let us see how to uh, do that here. Okay. Yeah. So, see I have one array here that is one row. Okay. Then I will give comma and I will declare one more similar array. Okay. So, here okay, let me make first two row value as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, 4, 4 columns 1, 2, 3, 4 that is the array first array that is first row and second array I will declare as okay, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is second row again comma array and here I will declare as uh, 9, okay, 10, 11 and 12 third array and all this I will declare itself uh, as a array. So, array right of array. So, this is a little bit interesting you can see. So, our within array function I am passing three different single dimension arrays. So, now this will become two dimensional array that is array of arrays. So, how to count see here count works uh, uh, a little bit differently here. Uh, let us see. Um, <coughs> so, so when I give count of dollar b, so we'll we can see here um, echo dollar b. Now it will give row number of rows present, right? Number of rows say so three. Why? Because dollar a is two dimensional array. Within that array, there are three different arrays. Means every row is an array. So it gives three. So how to find column number of column of a two dimensional array? So, there is no individual column, you have to give individual index. See, dollar a of 0, right, dollar a of 0. Dollar a of 0 means the first row, right, first row, it gives length of first row, that is 4 here. See, can you can see, that is 4. Means, in this two dimensional array, whatever the first row is there, there are 4 elements or it is a column number, okay. So, your individual row have different column numbers. So, there is no single column number for a two dimensional array. Okay. But for a matrix purpose, we will consider matrix as a square matrix okay, or evenly distributed matrix where all row numbers or columns in every row is same. Okay. That we have to manually uh, handle while inserting array values or while declaring array like this. So, here you can see in every array I have declared four elements each. So, now uh, to get the column number or the number of columns in a single row, we have to give dollar array and index of the row, right. So, that is very important. So, now how to display using for loop this two dimensional array that is very interesting. This is we have done in 
of C program also similarly see in first for loop I will access rows so I will use a variable which is dollar i equal to 0 and dollar i yeah so here okay I will declare r dollar r as row number so that is I will use dollar a right if I use variable uh, array variable directly in the count function it gives number of rows and number of columns dollar c equal to count of since every row has equal number of columns I will consider first row to find column number dollar a of 0 so here so r variable gives row number c variable gives column number right so now here I will use a for loop function for how to access rows I will use dollar i equal to 0 and dollar i less than row number that is dollar r and dollar i plus plus so this is what we used to do in c program also or c plus plus as well so within this for loop I can access row num right every row I can access using dollar i now how to access within a row how to access every column so that's why we need one more for loop okay here I will use uh, dollar j uh, yeah dollar j equal to 0 and dollar j less than column number that is dollar c I have used column number using count function and dollar j plus plus right so here okay so this is how it looks like <coughs> so I am accessing row number using dollar i within that again for loop I am accessing column number using dollar j where I am displaying echo dollar a that is array and its row number that is dollar i right that is dollar i and again column number dollar j so how to access two dimensional array two dimensional array, where, uh, array name then row number of the right element present and column number within that row that element present so this is how we display if you see now yeah see so all the elements 1 to 12 are getting displayed like this there is no row order there is no column uh, spaces properly so we know before here I'll give okay echo the file and a space and then dot operator so here before displaying any array element I will give a space so that I can distinguish between every element so now let us run this yeah, you can see all the array elements are displaying getting displayed but it is displaying as if there is only one row but there are every time there is a, a three rows here so every time I display when I go to second for loop once the, this for loop is over first for loop is over where I have given space and before going to outer for loop I have to use one more echo statement right and I will use a break statement fine so what happens is after displaying one row before going to second uh, another row sorry yeah before going to another row I am giving a new line character in the HTML that is break yeah now you can see right two three rows are displayed very clearly here right with the every row having each element with space so this is how we used in C program where inner for loop will have a backslash T that is a space between every element and outer for loop before going to outer for loop we will have a backslash n that is new line character so just like C program we use here access the array and display the result so this is how uh, multi dimensional arrays are used then count function is used to find number of rows and number of columns of an array and this is the double for loop to display two dimensional array so two dimensional array itself we consider as a matrix so we will uh, here we can reduce three right I am now creating a uh, three cross through matrix here so first row will have one two three second row four five six and third row seven eight and nine so this is one matrix here you can see okay now three cross three matrix okay so similarly you can declare uh, one more matrix just like that 
here I will declare it as uh, B okay array B um, okay we will declare like uh, okay 11 22 and 33 similarly 44 55 66 and okay 77 88 and 99 variable so again instead of a i will use b here so i can display one more matrix here. so this is how we use uh, array count and echo statements to declare two dimension array get the rows and column numbers and as well as display the or access the every array element using for loop now let us see the actual program where we declare two array uh, matrices two matrices two dimensional matrices and uh, using two dimensional arrays and then on those matrices we'll apply transpose we'll uh, make addition of two matrices and multiplication of two matrices so let us see the program so this is a program uh, which includes uh, that is experiment number 8 where there are three matrix operations we have to execute using php that is matrix transpose matrix addition and multiplication of matrix so here we have declared you can see um, dollar a that is a one matrix two dimensional matrix uh, two dimension array okay the matrix with three cross three then one more uh, matrix b a and b two matrices with right matrix order that is three cross three now using count function i am trying to uh, i am finding out row and column number of matrix a as well as matrix b so m and n are row and column number of matrix a p and q are row and column number of matrix b we have used count function as i explained earlier then this is we are displaying matrix a so you, are, you can see here instead of i and j we have used dollar row and dollar column and dollar row is a index for row and dollar column variable is index for column so that's how we will declare a here how to access a particular variable using row and column we can see here uh, row variable i have used given first and column variable i have given next because array has accessed using row and then column number so this is how we display a very array a that is matrix a and here you can see we are displaying matrix b again we have used row and column variables to access matrix b um, with right p and q that is row number and column number of the matrix b so now let us see how to uh, make it transpose of the array uh, this is the for transpose of array so we are not storing transpose of a matrix here we are just a displaying transpose of the matrix so you can see in the echo statement instead of row and column here i have given column and row so that is the by definition according to mathematics uh, transpose of a matrix is nothing but interchange of okay a row and column number of a um, array element so instead of i am displaying here row a dollar a row and column i am displaying column and row so i am fetching right column order and displaying it again and in row order so reversing row and column number gives the transpose of a matrix then addition of two matrices i am showing only transpose of a only one matrix is enough this is the addition of the uh, two matrices i can see in row and column order in a natural order i am accessing every element of a and adding it to the respective element of matrix b right and i am displaying it i am not storing result addition matrix here okay but the rule is for addition we should know that row and column number of both matrices must match that means here <laughs> Uh, whatever the row number of A matrix is A, M and column number of matrix B is P. So M must be equal to P. Uh, similarly, column number of matrix A is N and column number of matrix B is Q. So N must be equal to Q. So this is how um, we make addition. So only if the condition is satisfied, we will try to add two matrices. So directly here we are adding two matrices with respect to elements of row and column indices and directly displaying it there's the one thing interesting thing uh, i'm giving a homework here you can see here triple equal right instead of m equal to equal to p we have used triple equal so please make a little search and try to understand what is triple equal uh, this is a special operator we have used now we'll see multiplication multiplication we have already seen in uh, we know what how to multiply matrix uh, so 
in which order we have to fetch elements of both the matrix and how to store it. So that's matrix multiplication. Statement here, see here you can see. But here instead of displaying, I have initially direct declared a result array, dollar result, a empty array I have declared. And I am while multiplying right respect to elements of A and B, I am storing it in dollar result. Now matrix multiplication, there is a condition that here column number of first matrix that is N must be equal to row number of second matrix that is P. So column number and row num column number of matrix A should be equal to column number of matrix B. So that's why that there is a condition I have checked once multiplication is done and the multiplicative result is stored in result matrix here i am displaying the result matrix as i did right uh, we have uh, we have displayed all other um, matrices so this is matrix multiplication so this is the end of the uh, experiment 8 where we in first part we have discussed how to implement a simple calculator using php and remaining four parts we have discussed here in this second video uh, that is uh, matrix transpose, multiplication and addition. Thank you.